right, if you are having leg circulation issues, you must know the problem in order to treat it properly. And there are three common causes, and we're going to give you solutions for each one. That's right. Now, there are three scenarios of common leg circulation problems. We're going to give each one, and you can decide which category you fit into. Okay, now these are scenarios that you'll relate to. However, it is important you do not self-diagnose. You need to see a doctor to get it understood. However, this is really going to help you communicate with a doctor better and understand your exercises as well. We're actually going to show you one specific home exercise program that has proven to increase leg circulation 74%, and that'll come later in the video. The first common cause of leg circulation problems is arteriosclerosis. Now, if arteriosclerosis is actually the arteries are becoming plugged uh, and the circulation to the leg becomes impeded and declines. Now, I'm very familiar with this. My father had it. Typically, you can walk 100, 200, 300 feet, but then your muscles in your legs, calves, and feet become very painful and fatigued, and you feel like you need to sit. Scenario number two is for the person that typically feels good in the morning and has no swelling in their legs, but as the day goes on, it becomes a little more painful painful and swollen. Right, now this the cause could vary, it uh, could be varicose veins. Let the doctor decide. It's usually nothing to get too concerned about, but there are some exercises and way to treat this at home so it can be treated and uh, managed quite well. And scenario three is lymphedema. Now with lymphedema is very specific. The treatment is a little more specific, but it's things you can do at home once you're educated on it. Now with lymphedema, just so you understand it, it's as the blood goes through your arteries down into your legs, the natural way for the body to feed nutrients to the cells is the arteries actually leak out fluid, and that's lymph. It contains nutrients, and that's healthy. Now, what happens with lymphedema, the fluid needs to come back up through the lymph nodes to get filtered, but for whatever reason, there's a number of different reasons. I'm not going to go through them all. The doctor may know that for you, but the lymph gets impeded, and it actually stays down in the foot, particularly below the knee is very common. So for example, pushing into a swollen leg and you pull your finger away, there is a dent there. That's called pitting edema. It's a very, very positive sign that that is the case. Uh, that can be treated. We'll get into that uh, at the end of the video. So if you have been diagnosed with arteriosclerosis by your doctor, they may order some medication for you, and also you may want to start a walking program. Now, if the doctor does, and they often do give you a exercise program, typically it's walking. Now, the important part about this is you're gonna exercise so that you get collateral circulation. Your body actually forms new arteries or circulation paths so that it can feed the muscles and you do not have the symptoms anymore. It's very important that you do it in a methodic uh, manner. In other words, you don't get up and walk as far as you possibly can until your legs hurt so bad you can't walk anymore. You simply get up until you start feeling pain in your legs, and then you sit and you rest, okay? And then you may get up and walk again and do that two or three times, and then you're done. You may have only walked 300 feet in the whole exercise. Again, it may be a good idea to have this prescribed and go through in detail with a therapist so that you do it properly. So if you have no precautions and the doctor says this is okay, then you can actually give foam rolling a try to help with your circulation. Right, now with this foam rolling that uh, we're going to go through briefly, it actually had some tests done on it and improved leg circulation 74%. I'm going to give you a brief uh, demonstration on how to do it. Now, if you want to do this, you actually need to go to our video, and it's about 10 minutes long, goes through specific instructions on how to do all the exercises. That link will be at the end of the video, uh, but simply... You go on the floor with your foam roller and you're gonna actually work this and this is gonna help uh, move the circulation, the blood flow in your legs. And there's, a, again, specific times, I'm not gonna get into it now, but we do work the legs basically from the ankles up to the hip. Check that video out and it's a good option as long as the doctor says no precautions, do everything as it feels fine. 
Now, in scenario two, where you wake up, no swelling, but it, your legs and ankles swell by the end of the day, and it's a cyclical thing, happens every day, what you need to do is typically walk throughout the day, not too far, so you're fatigued, but not overly fatigued, and then throughout the day, anytime you sit down in a chair, elevate your feet like this so that, ideally, you want them above your heart. It may not be possible. It's a lot better to have them like this versus down like this. Now, if you have a recliner, you're actually going to tilt the recliner up as far as comfortable. And if you can get them a little higher with the recliner and you're comfortable, that's okay too. One way or another, keep them up. Make sure you walk throughout the day, and that should make significant difference because the walking actually helps pump that fluid back up where it belongs, out of the legs and into the system so it recycles as it should. So if you are able to lie down during the day and elevate your feet above your heart, that would be optimal. Do this for 10 to 20 minutes to help with that swelling in your legs. While you're here, you can also do some ankle pumping action for 20 repetitions. If you find this to be useful, you can actually purchase a wedge pillow of sorts instead of using pillows. And it's a little more comfortable and easier to maneuver around. If you have a bunch of pillows in your house, just use those. But this is nice and comfortable and helps with that circulation. Also, it's good for back pain if you have it. Most people find it's wonderful for that. They're comfortable. Now, if you're diagnosed with lymphedema, your doctor may order some medications, but typically the exercise program of what you're going to do at home is similar to what we just talked about. For example, you're going to get up and walk throughout the day, not too much, but consistently, maybe three times a day. Also, when you sit down, elevate your feet as well. We want to get that fluid to go proximal or towards the core. If you're laying down, use pillows or the leg wedge, just like we talked about. While your legs are up, ankle pumps. While you're sitting in your recliner or lying down, 10 to 20 reps every half hour is good. Now, there's also some other uh, interesting treatment. Okay, another very common way to treat lymphedema is with compression garments. Now, there's two real common types. One is tuba grip. It looks like this, and it's tuba grip because it's a tube. It looks like this. It comes in a roll, typically 10 yards long. You cut it off to the proper length, and you slip it on. They go on relatively easy. The toes are exposed. That's the way it's supposed to be, and they come up just below the knee. Now, with this... It's very important that you know how to do it properly. We do have a video with explicit instructions and done very well. It happens to be by Bob and Brad. So look that up. We have the link so you can look at that video if you uh, haven't done it before so you make life easier. And the other option is common is compression socks. Now these socks are a little bit difficult to get on, but they are made specifically so there's more compression around the feet, usually 20 millimeters of mercury. You don't have to memorize that, but that's how it's uh, labeled. And then up to 20 there or 30 here. Sometimes it's 15 here and 20 here. The doctor will give you information on which ones to get. Mike is wearing them right here. Uh, they work very well. Uh, and once you figure out how to get them on and off easily and comfortably. There is one word of warning. If you do have lymphedema, you're treating with the compression garments. Keep an eye on your skin. Oftentimes, it can dry up. And if your skin does get dry and scaly, you need to see your doctor, and they'll prescribe some kind of lotion. Oftentimes, it's a cross-the-counter lotion. But when the skin does dry up, it can get little cracks in it. And that can be an entry point for germs or bacteria, which can cause an infection. It's one of those things you really want to avoid and easy to avoid is if you get at it early. So if you want to check out any of those videos Brad mentioned earlier, you can find them pinned to the top comment down below. Now, taking care of your legs is really important. We hope this information is helpful and will get you on the right track.